Hey, Beta Climbers, welcome to another one of my weekly episodes. Which one of these knots will kill you? Yep, it's this one. Okay, seriously, let's roll the intro and find out why. Okay, everybody, just by looking at these two knots, which one is the one that you would choose? Which one kills you and which one saves your life? Let's find out. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger. Bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. That's you? Okay, so we got this one. Let's, let's clip into this bad boy and see what happens. Did you choose which one you jump on? Okay, we're hopping on this one. Let's see. So we clip in, we take a fall. And that tail pops right out and we die. This one, if you chose this one, you fall and it just tightens up and you're good to go. I've heard this knot called by a couple different names, scaffolding knot, slip knot. I'm gonna show you how to tie it and how not to tie it. Okay, if you've seen my double fisherman video, it's actually really similar to a double, double fisherman. So you're just gonna pass it over twice, once, twice and just right through here and then there you go that's a scaffold knot now how would you tie that incorrectly well this is just gonna fly all the way anyway but anyway what you would do is instead of when you pass it once twice instead of going over here and passing it through we're just going to send the loop up to the bottom. Then all of a sudden, it looks just like that one. Except when you fall, this is going right out of here. So if you ever see this knot, just give it a check and pull on it and see what moves. If the tail moves, you know you got something that will kill you. If it tightens up, you know it's good. You can always loosen it up wherever it's tied to, tighten up, make sure it's correct. Because yeah, sure, you know how to tie it right. But if you run into someone that's tying knots for you and you end up hopping on it, always double check because you'll never know. Maybe someone has seen this knot and they think they know how to tie it and then you end up on something like this. I mean, this has killed people before, believe it or not. So, I mean, yeah, you could have the most beautiful sports car and then you take good care of it and you drive it down the street and some dingbat in a beater just messes everything up for you. So make sure to always check your knots. Okay, I'm going to show you where I like to use this knot. Okay, here we are up in my tree, and this is actually the favorite, my favorite place to put one of these knots. Why? Because uh, these are my exercise rings here. Excuse the mess in the yard and some noise. But anyway, why put this in the tree? Well, as the tree grows, if you put any kind of knot that didn't stretch open the way that that knot does, then it would just choke the limb and then grow into the limb. So you'd want a knot like this that would open up as the tree grows. So this is my favorite place to actually use that knot right here. I thought I would just share that with you guys. All right, back to the studio. So yeah, if you're gonna put like a swing up in a tree, it's gonna be kind of permanent there for a while. That's a great knot to use because it won't choke the tree, but it still kind of holds it so it doesn't really grind into the tree. Like if you were gonna tie like a, like a figure eight or something and it's a loose figure eight, it won't swing around and saw into the tree. It'll kind of hold the tree tight, and but it'll still grow with the limb. So that about wraps it up, guys. Uh, this week was crazy. It was my birthday week, so it was pretty nuts. I was climbing all week. But I got a Osmo action for next week's episode. I'm going to be climbing this weekend, testing this bad boy out. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe, like, and comment. And here's my Instagram. I'll see you guys in next week's episode. Hope you had a good time. Man, I'm sore. I'm climbing all week. Oh, boy.